Hello everyone, my name is Kozator and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, uh, the end of last episode, right at the end of the outro, you may have noticed that, uh, a little, like, message symbol popped up. And me, in my silly, like, oh, I wonder what this is kind of state of mind, immediately after the outro, decided to just go over and click on it. So that's why we have this little LifePod 17 stranded near a cave system and under attack thing on our screen right now. Um, but thankfully I was still recording, so I'm just going to cut to that real quick so you, I, you can hear me reading that out. So we'll be jumping back into the past and then we'll come back here, so see you in a sec. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull! Come get us already! Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, and now we are heading over to Life Pod 17. Um, and they're not very far away, so it shouldn't take too long. We're going out in the dark because we've got to live on the edge and make things somewhat exciting. Um, we've got our sea glide, and that certainly makes travelling around a lot faster. We got a symbol in the bottom right hand corner about something, I don't know what that means. Scan. Scan self. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. So we are infected already. Okay. I don't like the look of that thing freaking out down there. Can you please just go away? Let's, uh, we, we need to go breathe. Let's go breathe. Um, so yeah, there is a bacteria thing on this planet that I know about. That's really bad and probably going to kill us. So we need to probably do something about that. Or, uh, bad things are going to happen. So let's go check out Life Pod 17. Um, there'll be no survivors, of course, because everybody's dead here, and we are all alone, stranded on this planet. Man, these things are so freaking creepy. Uh, we need to be quick, because we... range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Okay, well, we found a, a pad. What's this? Can we scan this? Can we scan this? Seamoth fragment! I would love a Seamoth! Um, is there anything else in here we can scan or do anything with? I don't think so. Our oxygen's at about half, so, uh, I reckon we just get out. Yeah, I know, we're going. Um, cool, so a Seamoth Fragment, that, that's, that's great. We can start heading towards that. What do I need for that? I need, like, a, a vehicle bay, don't I? That's what I remember from the playthrough that I watched of this. Um... Oh... I'm just trying to remember. I watched Markiplier play through this. I'm trying to remember what he called the... called the robots on the... on the thing. Jeffrey, Billy, Samwise, and Marshall, I believe it was. Can we go any faster? We need a Seamoth so we can go faster. Let's head towards that. Let's try and see, can we... What do we need for a Seamoth? Um, or for a vehicle bay? We need like... What would that be? Deployables? Mobile vehicle bay. Ingredients unknown. Hmm! That's a... That's problematic. One moment. Okay, so I, I've looked it up, and apparently we get the mobile vehicle bay fragments from around the safe shallows, which is where we are. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound very good. Do I need to go deal with that? Do I need to go deal with that, or is that something I can't do anything about? And just want to make sure I'm nowhere near it when that happens. Um, I don't know. 
But anyway, as I was saying, before I got distracted by our friendly uh, ship AI telling us that uh, the Aurora is about to blow up, I mean, two hours apparently, um, I was saying that we can apparently find the mobile vehicle bay fragments around the safe shallows, which is where we are, and uh, the kelp forest, which is that over there. Can you give me, give me some oxygen? Um... I have no idea where to look. That is so eerily quiet. Like, that's scary how quiet it is. This is just salvage, that's easy. Get some more titanium out of that. Oh, hey, hello. I did not. Nope. Mm -mm. I didn't mean to disturb you. I'm sorry. I'll let you get back to whatever it was that you were doing. That looks like something down there. I'm going to go look at that in a sec. Let's just grab some air. And I saw something down this way. Down there. What's this? What is this? Can we scan this? What is this? Cargo? Oh, that's part of this. That's a sea glide fragment. Do we get anything for scanning this? Can we? What do we get for scanning this? Materials, I think. And that was it. Alright, let's go breathe again. Dramatic music started. Is that because this is about to blow up? I don't want to miss this blowing up. If this is going to blow up, and there's nothing I can do about it, I'm sure it's going to look absolutely spectacular <laughs> when it goes up in flames. Well, I mean, it's kind of already, kind of already gone up in flames. It's kind of already on fire. But when it blows into smithereens, I kind of want to see that happen. I'm sure our friendly ship AI will give us a warning before it does. We can either go watch the, the spectacle, or um, we can uh, at least see our death coming. Um, I'm just trying to find these mobile vehicle bay fragments. But I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. I'll go breathe. And straight back down again. We kind of did like a dolphin thing there. What's in here? Just be another sea glide fragment. No, what are you? Hey, mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's what we need. We need three of them. Okay, so we're looking for those little cargo boxes. Are you another one? Hey, it is! We're in a roll now! This is great! This is great. We need one more. Hey, I see you over there. 30 seconds. Alright, go breathe. We're gonna go breathe. We can probably leave that a little later. From what I see, it takes us about 9 seconds to get to the surface. So we can probably be a bit... A bit more reckless. Yeah, you do not look well at all, buddy. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you bite me with your infected mouth. I don't want to be anywhere near that. Yeah, this is what the infection does. Hey! What the, what the heck? Oh, hello! I did not see you there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. You can go back to, uh... Eating the fish around here. Where are we? Where are we going? Let's go breathe. I've looked around the kelp forest a bit and I'm, I'm hoping... Like I found a couple there, but I haven't really found much around here, so maybe they'll be more plentiful. I'm prepared to be wrong. I'm just kind of wandering about aimlessly. Oh yeah, I need to like eat <laughs> and drink and stuff. Should probs go handle that? My inventory is full. Full of white. I need to breathe as well. I don't need that right now. I mean, I don't need all of these. Uh, oh, that, that was, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm really low on water. 
Why did I do that? That was stupid. Can I just grab you? Oh, th this makes it so much easier to grab fish. Okay, well, we're very serious trouble with water now because I decided to go eat old cooked food. That's a lesson we learned. So let's just quickly go make a water bottle. We have a message too. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I'm panicking now. Ah, uh, sustenance. Water. Let's just quickly consume this before we die. No, I don't want to be in this menu anymore. I want this, and I want to consume this. Huh! <sighs> okay, we're not dying anymore. Let's use the first aid kit. Seek fluid intake. I know, I know. We should have another- why am I sliding to the right? <laughs> we should have, uh, another first aid kit here too. And let's check out what this message says. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Yes! Still nothing. These old terror ships, they run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. Go offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Oh, Over. no. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long-range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn charter's going to have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. But we are crashed. They believe we aren't crashed. That's empty. They believe we've run out of fuel. Which tells us a bit about that. Oh, hello. No, I don't want any of that. I like subtle things like that about, like, just the state of the universe. Because that tells you that, like, Altera ships pull that sort of thing a lot. Which, um, isn't very relevant to our current situation, but it's just interesting nonetheless. Uh, nonetheless. Nonetheless, is that how it's that made sense in my head, but for some reason, when I said it out loud, it feels like it doesn't make sense. But I'm sure you will get my point, because um, it tells us more about the universe, which I find fascinating. Just background information that uh, Altera aren't all that great a company. I want you. Give me. Your body. Where is? You know, is this one? Of, is this the same one I just looked? Am I going in circles? Yes, I'm going in circles. Oh, I just want to get the mobile vehicle bay up this episode. Oh. Thank you, AI. I should give you a name. All right. How about you guys in the comments? Just call out. I mean, don't literally call out. Don't yell at your screens because I won't be able to hear you. <laughs> By all means, leave a comment and suggest names for the AI because I feel like we should name her together. I'm just going around grabbing a bunch of bladder fish so I can make water. Water doesn't go off, does it? I don't see why it would. I mean, it might go stale. I don't know if you've ever had stale water, it's not very nice. When you get them in, you get it in the bottles, and you, it's just, you take it with you on like a day trip somewhere, or like back at school, you have water bottles, and you have it on your desk, and by the end of the day it's just warm and gross. Especially in like Australian summer, it's like when you'd always bring it with you, and by like the end of the day, it's just I don't want to drink this anymore, but I need hydration. We grabbed a lot more bladder fish than I thought I did, and I'm just like saying random things about stale water to try and fill in the time of me making all of these. Okay, we're done. I can stop that topic and move on to something else. Um, let's drink those actually real quick. Yay! 
And let's find this last part to the mobile vehicle bay, because I want to get that up and running this episode. Oh no, this has power, I forgot. I need a new battery. Oh no. I completely forgot those things have power and I need to change the batteries. Uh, okay. Well. We shouldn't have squandered that so much. You guys have probably been screaming at me all episode like, Stop wasting your batteries, you moron. I'm sorry. I may know bits and pieces about this game from the playthrough that I watched. And from what I've researched about it. Oh! I wanted to see that! Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10. Nine, no, we want to see this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh. oh, boy. Okay. So, uh, that happened. We got a new blueprint for the radio- uh, radiation suit. I should swim back and make a new battery. If I have enough to make a new battery. That was really cool! Oh, it's so slow without the sea glide. Can we make- Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened there? Okay. Okay. We got the radiation suit. That's new, but we need a battery. Copper ore. Uh, I should have been breaking more limestone around the place. When I saw it. Now I have to go hunting for it. I might have to call this episode here. I know we didn't accomplish as much this episode as we did previous episode, but we've made some progress. And we're getting some lag for some reason. We'll find, hopefully the thing doesn't hurl me around again. Um, is this going to run out of power too? I hope not. But yeah, so uh, I'm going to call this episode here. But when we come back next episode, we will get the mobile vehicle bay. That is our next goal. And by the time the next episode starts, we're going to go do a bit of farming real quick. You guys don't, So you guys don't have to watch that. We will have a couple of batteries in reserve for the sea glide so that we can go back to our hunt for the last part of the, the mobile vehicle bay. So, yes, I'm going to have to say goodbye for the time being. And once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. Remember, you can check out my channel for more videos that I've done, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!